Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Blair and today we're going to be recreating one of my older videos and it's actually my most viewed video here on my channel and I thought it would be fun to pull out all the same products or most of the same products and just recreate this look. It was just an easy, natural, everyday makeup look using the Urban Decay Naked Basics two palettes. So that is what we did today. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. For today, we are going to be recreating my most viewed video here on YouTube. And I just thought, I kind of thought of this idea when I filmed my recreating my first YouTube video. And it just made me kind of think, uh, I have a few videos that have gotten significantly more views than others. And the one that got the most is, let me pull up my phone, I can't remember the exact title. Okay, so my most viewed video was from December 15th, 2019, and it's Easy Natural Everyday Makeup featuring the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics Palette. So, I have my same Basics Palette right here, and we're going to just recreate this look. Most of these products I still have and the things that I don't, I have things that are very, very similar. So this video currently has 28,646 views. And I did this video actually, if you've been following me for a while, you may remember in 2019, I did a 12 days of palettes series, the 12 days leading up to Christmas. And one of the palettes uh, that I did was the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2. And that's where this video came from. It was filmed on an iPhone 7, um, and I went back and rewatched it a few days ago. It's, I mean, the, my skin tone in that video, you can't even see it because I was using just natural light. I was sitting really close to the window, and it was just very blown out. But anyway, something about that video, people still click on that video to this day. So I'm not sure why, but I wanted to recreate it today. The first thing that I used in the video is the IT Cosmetics Anti-Aging Armor with SPF 50. I debated about whether or not I should use this product. I used it in the video, but you can't get this anymore. Um, but I have it, so I wanna use it. So this is just a they call it a tinted skin perfecting beauty fluid with SPF 50 and it's uh, zinc and titanium dioxide, but it's tinted as you can see. And this used to be like my go-to everyday complexion product just because you'll see when I blend this in, it just evens out your skin tone really well and it matched my skin really well. And I wish they still made it, but they don't. Like, see how that just kind of evened out my skin a little bit? It's such a good product. I wish if they discontinued this, I wish they would come out with something similar. I have a few tinted SPFs that I like. The issue is always, are they too tinted? Does the tint look orange on your skin. You have to find one that like works for you. And the best one for sure is the Dermatology Tinted Moisturizer. But I don't have that right now. I used mine up. But it's probably the closest thing I've tried to this. For my corrector, I used the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Corrector in Peach. This is still one of my favorite color correctors. I've just found others that I like, so I don't use this one as often, but it's, it is a good one. I'm just going to tap this in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This one is from Real Techniques. Yeah, YouTube is really such an interesting thing. Sometimes I'm sure you guys have heard people will say, you know, sometimes you make videos and you think that it's going to do well and it'll get views and, you know, you just 
you think it's a really good one and no one watches it, it gets no views, and then you'll have just a random video that gets a ton. And you're not really sure why. This is definitely one of those videos for me. I mean, I remember when I filmed it, I liked the video. I loved the makeup at the end. But even the thumbnail, I'll put a picture up hopefully on the screen somewhere so you can see it and I'll link this video below for you too. Um, but even the thumbnail is not something that I would look at and think, ooh, I bet a bunch of people clicked on that. So I don't know, I'm not sure. I actually did not use a foundation in the video, which is kind of interesting, although I used to, I remember, use this It Cosmetics sunscreen all the time by itself. Um, but today I want to use just a little bit of something, so I'm going to go in with the Fenty Skin Tint, the Eavesdrop in shade number three. This Fenty Skin Tint is so pretty to me. I feel like this would be something really good for more mature skin. It's just, I don't know, it's so natural looking. The one thing I will say about it is they say it's a blurring skin tint. I don't know how blurring I think it is. I mean, it doesn't accentuate anything on my face that I've noticed, but I don't think I would go as far to say that it's like super poor blurring or anything like that. But it's definitely really pretty. You can see it's really, it just looks like skin. I really like it. For concealer, I still have the concealer that I used in the video, and it's the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. This one is the shade number two. This is a nice concealer. This color is a little bit yellow for me, but it'll work. Okay, now I'm just gonna blend with my Sigma F03 brush. I should probably start using another concealer brush, but I'm telling you, I cannot get enough of this brush. This concealer is actually really nice. I haven't used this in quite a while, but it's very lightweight and liquidy, but it gives really good coverage. It's really nice. Kind of sim similar, well, I was gonna say it's a similar consistency to the Luminous Silk which it is kind of similar. This one just gives a lot more coverage than the Luminous Silk Concealer. I used my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders in the video, so I pulled out both. I have the Ambient Lighting Palette that has all three powders in here, and then I also have just diffused light in an individual powder. Usually, I like to put diffused light under my eyes, I didn't use, back then, a lot of cream products, like I didn't use cream bronzer or cream blush really, but I was very, very into these hourglass powders. I still love them. I'm just going to lightly set my concealer with diffused light, and then I used to just take the palette and just take my brush and get a little bit of all of them and just kind of go over my whole face, which is what they're intended for. They're not really, in my opinion, setting powders. They're more of uh, finishing powders. So they're really supposed to just kind of meld everything together and offer just like the slightest bit of radiance. For bronzer, I used the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. I still love this bronzer. <laughs> to this day, it is one of my favorites. Definitely, probably my favorite drugstore bronzer that I've tried. And this is uh, 001. I also have 002, which I also like. That one's just a little bit deeper than 001, but I gotta say, 001 is my favorite. 
It is just such a pretty natural looking bronzer. And I'm using the uh, Real Techniques blush brush. This bronzer in particular blends so well on top of everything. That's like one of my main like things that I love about this bronzer is it never gets like patchy or anything. It always just blends really well over whatever face products I use. It's a really good one. I'm gonna take a little more on my smaller bronzer brush and really get in my hairline. I feel like I'm about to hit pan on this bronzer. I can see like the dip where, yeah, I feel like we are about to hit pan. I'm gonna take a little bit down my neck as well and a little on my chest too so everything matches now for blush um i used one from ColourPop that i don't have anymore i think it was one of the disney princess blushes and i did declutter that so i believe it was just kind of a neutral blush that i used so i pulled out the buxom wanderlust primer infused blush in Seychelles. Okay, my camera ran out of memory, so I had to delete some things, uh, but I just applied the Buxom blush, and I was just saying this is one of my favorite blushes in my collection. I love everything about it, the formula, the color. I have one other one from Buxom. I think Ibiza, maybe the other one that I have. It's either Ibiza or Mykonos. I think it's Ibiza, but they're so good. I love them. Okay, for the brows, I actually use my Anastasia Brow Wiz, which I don't own currently. Now that I've discovered the NYX Micro Brow, it's very similar. So I'm gonna use this. And then I used a clear brow gel in that video. I used the NYX Control Freak which I used to love. I used to use that all the time. That's a really good drugstore one. I don't have that one, but I have the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix. So I'm gonna go in with this first. I've been doing my brows, or my brow gel first, and then filling them in. I just feel like I like the way my brows come out when I do that a little bit better. So I'm just brushing them up. Now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with my NYX pencil. So I'm thinking about maybe doing like a really short video about my eyebrows possibly. Not that my brows are like perfect, but I do feel like I've kind of figured out how I like to fill them in. These brows are kind of tricky, it's like Kind of just have to try things and see like what you like. I feel like it can take a while to kind of figure out your brows. It's not like a one size fits all kind of thing. So I don't know. Let me know if you want to see that. I don't know if anyone is even interested in that. I know there for a while on YouTube, brow, a lot of people were doing brow tutorials. Um, but I don't know if people are tired of that or still interested in that. So let me know what you think. Moving on to the eyes, I use the NARS eyeshadow base in light and I still love and use this all the time. I'm actually about to be out of this. One of these lasts me a really long time. But this is something I like enough that I would definitely repurchase it. Okay, now for the eyes. This is, I guess what drew people to this video was the Urban Decay Basics palette, apparently. 
people are still searching for this, which honestly, I'm not surprised because this is a really good palette and I feel like it is just a really good basic palette to have in your collection, you know? So I'm gonna go in with, what is this, Skimp? Yeah, the very lightest shade Skimp. And just lightly apply this all over the eye. Actually, I'm kind of interested in the new Urban Decay Mini Palette, the Naked 3 Mini, I think is what it is. I never had the original Naked 3 Palette, so I've never had any of those colors. I know some people thought that launch was weird. Odd timing, I guess it kind of is, but I was kind of intrigued by it. Next, we're going to go in with the next two shades, which are dark and frisk. So this one and then the gray. And we're going to apply this above the crease. I actually love that this palette is cool toned just because I feel like for an everyday palette for really natural makeup cool tones are definitely kind of underrated I feel like because Basically, natural shadows on your face, on your eyes, are cool tone. So these kind of colors are actually a little more natural on most people. Okay, next we're going to go in with Cover and Primal. So these are two, basically the two browns. One is more really, really cool, and then one has a little bit of warmth to it. So I'm tapping one tap into each color and we're going to add this to our outer corner and blend whatever is left upward. Okay, I can't find the brush I was looking for, but I used to use a little Real Techniques brush. It was called the Accent Brush. I'm sure it's here somewhere, um, but this is Similar, this is the definer brush from Real Techniques and it's just a little tiny angled brush. And I went into the shade Undone, which is the dark gray in the palette. I would get just the tiniest bit on my brush and I would stamp this in my waterline just to kind of define my eyes a little bit. It really does make a difference. I haven't, um, I haven't done that in a while. I've been doing the shadow wing, but this definitely was my go-to. I used to do this all the time with this palette. And now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I used the same eyelash curler, the Surratt Beauty one. For my mascara, in that video, I actually used the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara, which I love, but I don't have that right now. Um, so we're gonna use CoverGirl Lash Blast. This is pretty similar. I would say the Bobbi Brown one, though, I feel like I don't hear anyone ever talk about that mascara. And it is such a good one. I remember I had it a few different times and that one tube lasted me a really long time. They don't, they don't seem to get old really fast. It's very, very volumizing, but lengthening too. I loved that mascara. I also used my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on my bottom lashes, which I always loved and still do. And for the lips, I used Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Wherever Walnut. Still have and still use it all the time. Although, that just reminded me, I will say now I have a new favorite. 
and it's similar to wherever walnut but I feel like I like it just a little bit better and it's cheaper it's the Milani color statement lip liner in the shade 04 all natural so so good and almost identical to this I would say it's just a little uh, maybe not quite as deep as this one from Makeup Forever, but it's very similar. But the reason I like it is because it's so close to my natural lip color. And then for uh, a product on top, all I used was this, the Laneige uh, Glowy Lip Balm in the pink one. These are really good. I have all of them. Um, and I still use them. The smell is incredible too. And I believe I did use a finishing or a setting spray. I think I used the Catrice uh, Prime and Fine in that video. I don't have that anymore. So we'll just use Maybelline Glass Spray. I don't love this spray because the mister is really not very good. It's a little too harsh for me. And that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was pretty quick and easy, but I'm actually really glad I did this because I still love this makeup. And I used almost the same things or things that are very, very similar. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Maybe I'll start like recreating some of my older videos. I think that's kind of fun. But uh, main takeaway is do not sleep on this palette. This is so good. And if you don't have it, it's a good one to add to your collection in my opinion and I love it. I love this makeup and I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with somebody you think might like my videos and make sure to follow me on Instagram at simply.blair. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember simply be you. Bye.